In a world where technology is advancing at an exponential rate, the idea of a completely artificial human being is no longer a far-fetched concept. Imagine a being with artificial skin, organs and nanobots, capable of performing tasks and experiencing emotions just like a human. While this may seem like something out of a science fiction movie, researchers and scientists are actively working towards making it a reality. The potential applications of such a being are vast, from medical advances to space exploration. But with great power comes great responsibility, and the ethical implications of creating an artificial being must be carefully considered. What rights would such a being have? Would they be considered a person, or simply a machine? As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, it's important to remember the impact our creations can have. Shit. Oh no. Bloody hell. Um, 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 mate. What are you doing? You have to stop. Thank you for leading me to them, by the way. The humans' cell, that is. I killed most of them. Of course, sooner or later, they'd be whistling my tune just like everybody else, but... Meantime, it was that little cracker program they dreamed up that got my attention. That was a genuine nuisance, no doubt about it. One thing even they didn't know, though, I'm wired, too. I replaced 98% of my own noodle with nano tissue years ago. But well, mine's different. It's built to sand. <laughs> to transmit, whereas every other nano cell that I put out there, including the ones in your head cable, designed to receive. I think it, and you do it. <laughs> We're talking every Slayer, everyone in Society City. I believe your better half would fall under that category, provided they're within range of my transmitters. Very nice, Castle. So you got an army of psychotics and deviants to dance around for you. You're thinking small, Cable. But not as small as me. <laughs> See, nano cells are real small. A thousand times smaller than these dust particulates. You inhale it, they go to work replicating, spreading like a virus, multiplying in exponentials. Six months' time, I could have a hundred million people. Converted, ditch diggers, porn stars, and presidents. Not one would be the wiser. A hundred million people who buy what I want them to buy and vote how I want them to vote and do pretty much damn well anything I figure they ought to do. In today's world, the battle for our minds is more intense than ever before. With the rise of technologies like 5G and nanotech, those in power have unprecedented tools at their disposal to shape our beliefs and behaviors. These technologies promise faster and more efficient communication, but they also raise serious concerns about privacy, security, and control. As we navigate this new landscape, it's important to stay informed and aware of the potential risks and benefits of these technologies. Join us as we delve into this high-stakes battle for control over our minds and explore how we can work together to ensure that these technologies are used for the greater good. Let's empower ourselves and take control of our minds before it's too late. The use of nanobots and 5G technology, and how it may one day replace humans with artificial copies. This may seem like something out of a science fiction movie, but the reality is that we are closer to this reality than you might think.